Hope you all are doing well. This is Marvel Preaching Sense. Back at you all with another video. Just wanted to go over some good springtime fragrances that I think are going to be perfect um, to get your nose on. So a few of these, uh, start off with one that um, I mentioned before, but this is called Gravitas. This is Gravitas Pour Home by Notton and Wilson. And sorry for the glare, but uh, it's such a shiny bottle, gold bottle. Um, it is one, I like to wear this, it's good for a spring or rainy spring day. Uh, it opens up with a lavender accord. So you definitely gonna get a lot of lavender, um, a little orange, bergamot as well. And as it develops, you're gonna get some of the cardamom. Uh, there's some spices um, or maybe some peppers in there as well. And then as it dries down, you'll still you'll get this oak moss, kind of an earthiness from the oak moss. And then there's this patchouli accord, which you know patchouli is always a gives it a nice earthy yet sweet. And sometimes the patchouli can come off as a little kind of a chocolatey uh, chocolate hint to it. I'm not saying it's a chocolate accord, but it can give off that kind of vibe. Um, so you're going to get some sweetness from that. And, uh, but it just with the lavender and <clears throat> it just kind of reminds you of kind of a, a nice, kind of a warmer spring day where it's actually rainy. So that's the kind of vibe I get from this. Um, you know, it'll run you about $120 for this right here. Um, it's not, it doesn't project, um, super a good, I mean, it doesn't project that well. Um, so it's not a strong fragrance. So all you like the beast mode fragrances, I'm like, you know, this is not it, but it smells amazing. So, so get your nose on it. This is Gravitas Pour Homme by Notton and Wilson. Um, next, next, let's talk about, um, <clears throat> I won't talk much about this because it's just one that it's pretty much on a lot of people's list, right? This is Sidrat Boise by Mansara. It's just good. I mean, it's a solid. You can wear this anytime, any place. Dress it up. You can wear it casual. Uh, it's a dumb reach type fragrance. It just works. You know it's going to smell good. You will get compliments. It's actually one of my wife's favorite fragrances as well. So this is one of uh, one of her top ones. Opens up with the fruity accords. You're going to get the, um, you know, you'll get the citruses, the lemon. You'll get the bergamot. There's a black current accord in here as well. Um, you know, we definitely get the woods. It's a woodiness to it. Um, there's some earthiness to it from the patchouli. Uh, and as it dries down, you'll get the vanillas and maybe some, a little bit of a sandalwood. So it's just, it's in that Creed Aventus type of family. It's not a Creed Aventus clone, but it's, it gives off those kind of vibes. So. Get your nose on it. You can get this one for about 70 bucks if you, uh, you know, drum a shop and what have you. So it's a good fragrance, solid fragrance. Next on the list, I love wearing this in the spring. And this is Parfum de Marley. This is Greenly, Greenly. This is one of the ones I love wearing this in the spring. It is another one of those solid fragrances. Just, just does a good solid job. Not the best in the world, um, but it's something I like to wear. So it opens up with that green apple. You know, I love that green apple. I don't have too many fragrances with the apple cord other than Layton and then, of course, Greenly. So it has that apple, it has the bergamot and orange, and then it has some woods. You'll get some green nuances to this. Uh, you'll get, as it gets into the dry down, you'll get some of the um, maybe oak moss in there. And then there's some aquatic accords. There's a um, an, am an amber wood, which gives it a kind of a salty aquatic vibe as well. This, it just, it just works. It is a, um, just a solid one. It kind of can be a little pricey, you know, um, you know, a lot of times you'll see this going up over 150 to $200. And I think there's some clones out there and I can't remember the, um, I have one of them. I can't remember the clone. I'll have it pop up on the screen, but you know, it's, it's just, it's a little bit much for the price. I will say that. Uh, if you can get a clone, I would definitely go with that. Um, 
yeah so but i still like it it's still solid fragrance i'm glad i have it but i i definitely wouldn't pay more than 150 dollars for it if i could go back and do it all again all over so that's greenly get your nose on that uh this one right here is one that i not hardly no one talks about this one this is uh, by Jivan G. This is Chublé Fet. Um, this right here, you see I put a huge dent in this bottle. Uh, another one of the ones that my wife likes. And it is, it's just different. It's light. It's not a um, super strong fragrance, but it's a fig fragrance. I don't have many fig fragrances in my collection. So it opens up with the fig accord. It has this kind of a floral honey nuance to it. Um, it has olibanum in there, which gives it, it has this um, kind of a fresh green, um, slightly fruity type of um, um, note to it. It has a little spice in it as it dries down, but it's just, it's a light fragrance. It's good for the warm months. It'll be good in the summer. It's good in the spring and it's just um, different. It's quite, these usually it's hard to find them on sale. Usually they'll run you 225. So, you know, Givenchy, uh, this, for this line of uh, their fragrances, is I mean, kind of pricey. Um, I would definitely sample it because it costs so much. I wouldn't run out and, this is not so amazing where I would want to run out and spend that much money for it. But, um, you know, I like it. And of course, since the wife likes it, this is one of the ones that she really likes. I, you know, I would say I wear it a lot, but, Get your nose on it. Get a sample. Get a sample of this and see what you think. Givon Chi Chublé Fet. Okay, so next on the list here, let's go with... Um, I don't know if I featured this one before, but this is Declaration uh, Dun Soir by Cartier. Cartier. Uh, this is the EDT right here. This here is a nice spring fragrance as well it has it opens up with this bitter orange accord um, and it has <clears throat> and then it goes into this cardamom which gives it a nice sweet spice maybe something baking in the oven um, some type of something sweet baking in the oven type of vibe and it has one of the star plays in this one is a rose accord and the rose in here is not um it's not super heavy it's it uh it kind of comes and goes you know, when you're wearing it. So it's not, I wouldn't call it rosy, but you know it's there. Um, it kind of comes to the front, it fades to the back. It kind of comes to the front, fades to the back. So you'll get those floral nuances. I think there's an iris accord in here as well. And it, but it has a nice, rich, warm Santa wood in there as well. So get your nose on this one right here. I think you can usually get these between 50 and $75. So for the price, very quality you know it's cartier so um, quality fragrance especially for that price price range get your nose on it um i think it, it's just work works wonders in the summer all right so next on the list here uh this one uh, another one I haven't featured before, but this is Men's, um, sorry, um, Mason Francis Kirk John Gentle Fluidity Silver. Um, as you can see here, a very clear bottle, silver uh, top. It is, man, this is just, you know, it's new to my collection, so I'm still learning it still, but it's a, it's a fresh aromatic type of fragrance, and it, it just, man, it, uh, Opens up with the juniper berries, which gives it a nice uh, kind of a piney, um, sharp, sparkly accord. Um, if that makes any sense. That's the kind of vibe I get. It's fresh. It's cooling. Um, it has some, and as it dries down, you'll get the musk in the woods. Um, maybe a little sp some spices to it. I think there's a um, coriander note or a chord in there as well. So it is really a quality solid fragrance um worth uh, worth the price i mean i think i can't remember uh, i think you usually can get this in that 150 dollar range which for mason francis kirk john is a good price right and it is it's just i'm really enjoying it i mean this is especially on a warm day 
the freshness it gives you that fresh cooling vibe not many fragrances give you that that cooling vibe on a warm day this one has that in there with the spices in there uh just a really a good above definitely above average fragrance i mean this is um really enjoying this one so get your nose on it grab a sample see what you think um and then last one i'll feature for today this is one of my old favorites that i like to mention this is uh, by lalique this is homage a la um what is it uh yeah homage a la and this one right here is a very cheap affordable fragrance i think i usually get these for about 35 bucks and it's just a solid quality fragrance you can overspray this because it's a light fragrance overspray this put as much as you want on and it opens up with a violet accord which gives it a kind of a candied woodiness to it has a saffron accord in there that gives it a kind of a leathery honey nuance and then it has the bergamot that lemon lime accord so that's kind of the what's going on here so it's it's kind of an uplifting it's a cozy um it's a mix it's a happy type of fragrance i would say you'll get the woods and some peppers as it dries down um, some musk but you can usually get this for 35 bucks overspray this and it's just a solid fragrance especially for the price um blind by worthy you know you, you don't need to, i mean when you're when you're getting down into the lower price range it's kind of silly to get a sample um if it has the accords that you really like that's just my opinion but to each his own so that was about seven fragrances that are solid for the spring hope you guys can get grab a sample uh get your nose on it like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos uh, this is marvel with preaching sense i'll catch you all in the next video take care